everyone and welcome to part two of our Hong Kong Disneyland adventure. If you're new around here, my name is Brogan and with my husband Benji, we are currently on a 60 day half world cruise on Piano Cruises ship Arcadia, where we recently got married and are having the best honeymoon ever. So if you haven't checked out all our other videos, then make sure you go and watch them. I'll leave them linked below. And if you haven't seen part one from our Hong Kong Disney day, then definitely watch that first. But today we're going to be doing everything else that we missed yesterday so we're looking at a few rides that we haven't done yet including jungle cruise the iron man experience i'd like to do ant-man again mystic manor and we have a few shows the moana one and the lion king are high on our list and we also have a beautiful lunch the dim sum with disney friends at the disneyland hotel which we had to pre-book in advance and then tell them which dim sum we wanted apparently you have to order it 24 hours in advance but they actually just emailed me and I emailed them back and we chatted and they sent this sweet little email with pictures so you could see exactly what things were. It was very easy to navigate and I'm very excited about it. But we're also, speaking of food, going to have the waffles we had yesterday because they were insane. So we'll do that this morning. And I also have paid for early entry into the park. It was about £20 per person and you get an hour extra. Hotel guests get 15 minutes, but we just figured that we're awake, we're up, we're dressed, want to get into the park as quickly as possible and do some of those rides that we haven't done already but we also love to just mooch around and go through the shops and see what we can find so like i said if you haven't subscribed already then make sure you hit subscribe and let's go do disney day two are you ready for day two let's do it he's wearing his new hong kong disneyland t-shirt looks good on you see if you guys can spot the mistake with brogan's t-shirt how long have you had it a few years from and we've genuinely never, never noticed. noticed pluto is upside down and now I can't look past it. Why is Why? it upside down? Move your hair. I don't, oh, here you go. Everyone else is fine. Normal, yeah. But Pluto is just randomly upside down. I don't They've know. obviously forgot to flip him or I don't something. Know. I'm wearing it anyway. <laughs> I wanted your t shirt. Benji nabbed it, so it looks cute on you though. The hotel was lovely. The bedroom mm -hmm. was really nice. The bed was comfy. Pillows were lush. Yeah. They were like borderline memory foam, which I love. Shower. First thing he said was, oh, I might just see if I can find one of these. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I wonder where they buy these. The shower was so powerful. Really good. Hot and nice. And I love the little amenity kit. I asked housekeeping if we could keep the little tin if you watched the last vlog and they said yes. So mm -hmm. yeah, we've packed all our stuff up. So we just need to take our rucksacks that we're not taking to the park today to the luggage storage. And then we don't have to be back on the ship till half past seven tonight. So That's we'll good. be leaving here around six just to make sure we have plenty of time. We have left our luggage in the little luggage room. Love it. That's an easy surface. It's really easy actually, isn't it? Yeah. We've also checked out and she's given us fake room keys. She called them souvenir room keys so that we can use them. We've got vouchers, but you have to show your room key in order to get the discount. Also, when you arrive at the park, there's a hotel parks entrance where you also have to show your room key. So that's why she's given us some like way, bogus ones. Yeah. yeah, but we've got early entry, like I said, which is an hour earlier than the park opens, which is half past nine and it's I nine o'clock now. So we're just gonna start making our way over. Neither of us really anticipated this weather did we? No. It said, was it 17 the first day and 21 the second day. So we thought, oh, we're fine. I only chuck this in as we're walking out the door, One just jumper. in case. <laughs> And it's necessary. She's so absolutely fine, I have no problem with it. It's but chilly. we're both wearing the same jumpers again. So yeah, it's cold. We're not grubby, we're just don't have anything else. Options, unless we buy something. We can buy you a new one if you want. Yeah. There's some things that I love that are still the same in all the parts around the world. Here you leave today and enter the world of yesterday, tomorrow, and fancy on the plat. Loving this early entry. You know, we'll wait, we're out, we may as well go. And because it's still quite dark, all the lights are on, so it's so pretty. Is that the that yesterday? Obviously, would have been. With the characters. That's really cute. Let's take a picture of that. No, I didn't see that yesterday. Let's definitely go there. It might be raining, but. It's like a weird mist, isn't it? It is a mist, yeah. Here we are. How cute is that? Oh, that's so cute. Look. <laughs> I'm sure they weren't there yesterday. I always get so much joy from helping other people out with their photos. He does so many. Like, so I, many. I'll stand there all day. I was saying to Brogan yesterday, I wonder how many mantelpieces my artwork is on. Oh, honestly, <laughs> sometimes I think, oh God, he's doing more. Like, <laughs> I want to go. We always do other but people and then it, they offer. It all comes around, doesn't it? We've yeah. had some bangers by other people and after we've taken one of them as well. Yeah. So yeah, it's just that part of Disney magic, isn't it? I love being here so early, this is so <laughs> nice. And I love that you can see Elsa's castle. Yeah, in the background. Just tucked in the background, they 
designed it perfectly Again, so it blends. With the, with the real mountains in the background as yeah. well. Love I love it. it. I love it so much. <laughs> Yesterday we were soaking it all up, but today I'm really starting to appreciate more of the tiny details. The little lights in the trees, colours on the castle. I don't think it's doing justice because it's so grey, but they're really pretty. It is actually quite hard to distinguish which princess is on which area of the castle. I appreciate it's meant to be different ones, but... I've heard it's like an Airbnb and they just all stay like, one at a time. <laughs> Bench. But the turrets, this is cool, right? This looks like a real proper I love, castle. I love the stonework. Yeah, it's really cool. Oh, this is so pretty, isn't it? Hello. Yeah. I love walking through all the different castles. Yeah. I don't know if they have shops or what in here. I think oh, you can... Oh, there's a shop. Oh, we are looking for a Christmas shop. Storybook shop. <laughs> Don't think they're all open yet. All right, we got our first little snack, which is so cheating because we haven't had breakfast yet. But while we're here and it's quiet, I picked up this little donut thing. You know, got to do what you got to do when in uh, Arundel. So we're going to eat it and admire this cute view. Mmm. Oh, it's got jam going through it. <laughs> so this is the golden crocus in and this is what the menu looks like. They actually have a tray here so you can see examples of what it looks like. I think this is so clever. And they have it in English too so you can see. That's what that chicken looked like, Benj. Yeah, look oh look, that's sweet. Little snowflake potato thing. Kids meatballs. I'd have that to be Yeah, that looks good. Frozen Ever After is a 15 minute wait and I'm just appreciating all the details now. Like look at Arno and Elsa up at the clock there. There's a little nutcracker. We are going in TikTok, toys and collectibles. And you said he's found something cute. Yeah. Oh, it's a spirit jersey. Spin it around, what's the front like? Oh, that's really nice. It's glittery. Oh my gosh, this merch is amazing. Oh, I like the little cardigan too. Yeah, that's what I saw that. Came that's that so one. sweet. Oh, I love the socks too. No, I need these. I don't know if it's a, it moves or if it's just an ornament, but I love it. And they also have a cute snow globe and they have an exclusive Pandora charm, which is a little sleigh. They sell frozen packing cubes. What? I haven't seen these ears yet either. They're so pretty. I kind of feel like I want to try those on. Find the perfect shoulder mascot for you. I don't want, a, oh, okay, a troll. I don't want a shoulder mascot, thank you. I think it suits you, to be honest. Twins. <laughs> Finally found some frozen pins, and some of these are absolutely massive. I don't know if you can appreciate it. This is adorable, but it's so big, and there's only so much we can sort of do on our pin boards. We like this size. This size is good, and I do love this, so I'm definitely going to get that one, but got a little selection. So they have these stands. We need to go and find the one in Fancyland as well, where you can get these little tiny mini figures. <laughs> Big summer blowout. <laughs> um, but they are so adorable. Like teeny, teeny, tiny. And you pick which ones you want. There's loads of different things. Like, oh my gosh, I love it. And then you get them in a little box and they seal them out for you. And it's like a little memento of all your this favorite is characters. Like this generation's version of them little gems we used to get and put in a bag. I don't know what you're on about. Do you not? No. Uh, I used to do, I had one in Orlando. Oh really? They're cute, they're so cute. I just don't know what I'd do with it, you know? We're still just walking around and they have a playhouse in the woods here, which is like a theatre telling of Frozen with Anna and Elsa. It's meant to be quite good actually, but it doesn't say what time the show is on on the board, so I have to check the, maybe it's not on right now, I'm not sure, but it's only a five minute wait for the sleigh ride thing. And I just want to see what food and snacks they had over there as well. Okay, so they, oh wow, what flavor? Bench, what is that? Jasmine peach flavored. A sausage platter. They have a drink, chocolate fondue. That's amazing. Just such a shame, it's absolutely chucking with rain. <laughs> so nice. It's not a vibe, is it? It's not a vibe, but I absolutely love Frozen. It's one of my all time favorite Disney films. So this and has really filled me with it's joy. The first film we watched together. First Disney, no it wasn't. Yes, it Beauty was. and the Beast was the first Disney no. film. The oh, Frozen 1 was. Oh, you're date. right, it yeah. was. 18 hours after meeting for the first time. We yeah. It. Oh my gosh, guys. It is so horrible weather wise, but we're going to go on Winnie the Pooh as it's inside. Look at the little storyline. The map. <laughs> it's cute. It's only a five minute wait. We've obviously done this before, but don't know what their version's like, so 
Let's see. And even in the rain, it's still so pretty. Look at the lights on the carousel. Oh, so cute. I always forget about the little details on rides like this. You know, it's really quiet when we have a whole thing to ourselves. Off we go into the 100 acre woods. Wind near the boom. Cabbage. Cabbage. Lettuce. What's that one? Carrots. Oh, carrots. Oh, there's me. <laughs> Oh, I don't like this room. This gives me the creep. Oh, hello. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's kind of like one of those fun houses that you get. Yeah. Oh, it looks like it's raining. I mean, it is actually raining outside, but never mind. <laughs> Last rain went away, and everyone gathered together to say, "Hooray!" Silly old bear. And that was it. You enjoyed that. You enjoyed that. A rain avoider. A, a rain avoider. <laughs> what I love is this. <laughs> That is a banger bench. I think we should put that in a frame. Yeah. Your place is actually really nice. Look. I'm enjoying it. Fun. <laughs> it's actually a really cute like design though. Yeah. I'd happily have that printed if I didn't look like an absolute weirdo. Oh, the shop is so cute. Their merchandise is just on a different level. Like how adorable is this? And they have every version of it, you know, like bags and hats and t-shirts and everything. Oh no, the Pooh Bear is so cute. We've got a little girl in our life, haven't we? That we, we've been picking up something for her. And yeah, it's cute. We just went in the most adorable little jewelry shop in there. So many cute pieces, but there were like five staff, so I didn't film, but it was so lovely. I'm looking for a new necklace, Disney one. And that was definitely the right spot to look for it, but I'm still not sure, I'm undecided. Um, but anyway, we're off to Tomorrowland because we want to do the three rides that are inside so hyperspace, Iron Man, and Ant Man. We want to do Ant Man again. I loved Ant Man yesterday. Oh, look. Sorry. Oh. All the dwarfs. No, and some dwarfs. What a beautiful little feature. Well. That's so nice at the woods. I oh, see the little mine on the left. There. Yeah. That's so cute. So cute. This is what we like to see, guys. We might be getting wet, but five minutes. Five minutes for hyperspace mountain. So that's what we're gonna do. Is that an X-wing? Yeah. Oh. Oh, my Star Wars knowledge coming out to play. So with Space Go Mountain, and may the force oh. be with you. So with Space so Mountain, the one in Paris is like King a roller coaster King with shoulder strains, and it's amazing. The one in Walt Disney World, in where's Space Mountain? Oh, it's the Magic Kingdom. Is singular seats one in front of the other, and then in California you sit side by side, but it's the same concept. You don't have shoulder, you just have a lap bar. So I don't know what it's like at this version. We'll find out. Jinx. I honestly can't go for this walk-on business. Like this is the fastest and easiest we've ever been on any Disney rides in any park and we've not had to pay for Premier Pass at all. Just timing and I think luck and time of year maybe and the weather but oh it's a side by side. I'm very excited for this. Yee. That was so, so good. good. It was so long. Yeah. It was long, it was fast. It was very adrenaline fueled. Yeah. I it liked it. Around the corners, isn't it. It wasn't as smooth as I'd love but you know kind of win them all. Where's our picture? Here we are. There's us at the back. <laughs> wow. You and a bucket hat. Take that off your head right now. It does look cute on you, but no. <laughs> Next stop will be the Iron Man experience. Oh my gosh, look how dead it is. I've never seen it so quiet. Like, obviously we've never been here, but you know what I mean, in yeah. like other versions. It smells amazing. Is that yeah. popcorn again? Like, oh, it's like caramel popcorn. Oh, we need to try yesterday. that. We need to try that. What's the wait time on Ant-Man? Five minutes. Five minutes. Lovely. And this one? Five minutes. Five minutes. <laughs> Iron Man experience. Here we go. This is another new one for us both. Yeah. Oh, I love a queue that has all these detail. And I've really come to love Marvel. Especially with you when we watched all of them in lockdown together, didn't we? So I believe this is a simulator, kind of like Star Tours. It reminds me of the Guardians queue. It's a bit like that. Wow. Look, it's got a little video playing showing you 
the different car. How clever that it shows you what it is and then there's a little video about it. Yeah. Again, I don't know if this is a ride I can really truly film because we're wearing 3D glasses. It's time for me to introduce you to your pilot today, Jarvis. Jarvis is an autonomous artificial intelligence interface created by Tony Stark. The detail's so cool, isn't it, Ben? Yeah. So good. That was good fun. That was good. I I'm not normally a massive fan of the simulation rides, but no. that, was, that really chucked you around, didn't it? It was funny too. There were moments yeah. I was like, oh, that's clever. Yeah, um, yeah it was good. Little, we got a little tour of Hong Kong as well. We did. It takes you straight out of Disney and takes you over Hong Kong, so it was quite cool. Yeah, I liked it. We've just popped into the Main Street Bakery to get me another, what are these called? Brown sugar milk tea. Yee! Very happy about this. <laughs> Yee! And we're gonna get waffles around this corner again. This could be my new favorite breakfast ever and I'm sad that this is gonna be the last day. I'll be able to have it, but. You've graduated to a Mickey today. Only because he's bigger. <laughs> are they the same price? They are, I think so. Yeah, he's bigger. Yeah, yum. Frank just did a full clip and was like, oh no, I'm not vlogging. <laughs> <laughs> Even 13 years almost, still make mistakes. Anyway, what I was trying to say is the waffles are so fluffy, yeah. so soft, so yummy. The cream's really nice as well, it's not too sickly. I get, I find cream quite sickly sometimes, but that was lovely. The cream with the fruit. The only thing I could say, would love a little bit more fruit. I'd love a bit more fruit too, it was yeah. lovely. Some strawberry maybe. Just more of what was there, the mango and the blueberry, isn't it? Are we ready to do jungle cruise? Jungle cruising and then boozing. And then boozing? Yeah, boozing. Actually, we did notice you can't get alcohol anywhere. I don't know if that's a decision that's been made or just no demand for it. Can't see any alcohol anywhere. No. Couldn't get any like cocktail or glass of prosecco. Not that bothered, like that. but no, just, just an curious. interesting thing, yeah. Um, we haven't seen any anyway. Yeah. This milk tea thing, lush new favorite thing but the little um balls they're kind of like the texture of a jelly bean no not quite maybe that's not it it's like a little chewy they don't burst they're not the ones that are like thin that burst with stuff inside they're more like a sweetie but they're amazing and such a nice drink i know it's raining and like it's, it's a bit cold not gonna lie but i'm just so happy to be here i feel like we've truly escaped and we're in that disney bubble weirdly it doesn't feel too different to the ones that we do and love and know like there's definitely differences but at the end of the day you're still walking down main street with the castle the music the smells and that disney bubble is something that is hard to describe or explain to someone that doesn't get it we're the disney bubble you could be anywhere it, like mm. I, we know we're in hong kong but like you forget you are you're walking around i love it i i really like it it's a, it's a smaller park so you can easily walk from one side to the other i think it's great the rides are really good they're not necessarily big but they like rely heavily on their tech which is a lot further on than uh, most it's other a newer parks. park isn't it yeah uh, they're missing um some classics like we've got no pirates there's no tower of terror there's <laughs> Like, you care. well, no, I care, <laughs> yeah. but like, people might care. They're like, they're cult favorites for people, I'd say. Yeah, the shops are a little bit samey, samey. It needs like a little Disney Springs area, just like a world of Disney just outside the gates or something. They need like a Duffy shop, a home yeah, shop. Yeah, that'd be really cool. Yeah, like a, a, a actual pure lead up and stuff. Yeah, they're also missing a parade right now. I don't, I don't class that float thing yesterday as a parade. No, mind blown that the. Lena Bell, whatever her name is, the little pink cat. She's cute. She meets inside on Main Street in a little area, and there is a virtual queue. And I tried to get in it yesterday, and there were like 600 people ahead of me. It took about five minutes, got there, and they were all gone anyway. So I just figured that it's not that important to us. We met Duffy, and that was our number one. But still, really mind blown about the. I'm loving that there's different characters here as well. Yeah, it's fun, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, more pins, need more pins. Not enough pins, we are not any Hong Kong pins specifically. What is good though is every cast member has a pin badge, like a pin lanyard. Mm. Yeah. Right, we're going into Adventureland, which can only mean 
One thing. Is it actually an adventure land? Tarzan. Tarzan. Oh, we did want to go over there, didn't we? I don't, I don't see, know. We'll see how we go. It might be quite slippery. Bottom of the list, isn't it? Um, but we're going to Jungle Cruise. That's the tree house. It's so cute. The design is amazing. Sorry, that's so sweet. They, they properly scrub everything in between each ride. Oh, look, they're cleaning the seats. Oh. So I have a love hate relationship with Jungle Cruise. If you get a good skipper, it can be so funny, and that's really what the experience is the right jokes with the right skipper. But if you don't get one that's your sense of humour or like they just don't get the jokes right. We need to not sit next to the engine as well. Last time we sat next to the engine, we couldn't, couldn't hear. Everything. Yeah. And I'm not gonna lie, I don't think we're going in English because they put all in one queue. So I don't even know if you can understand. I should laugh, laugh when everyone else laughs. <laughs> but that's also, on this one, apparently there's some things to look out for. So no spoilies for Benj, but some things to look out for. We have been informed that they actually are running it with three languages. So how can... hard it is to be funny in one language, let alone three languages. Yeah, that's I don't know how they're gonna do that. And we're right by the engine too, which we didn't want. Although the speaker's quite good, yeah. Pardon? <laughs> Welcome aboard to the world famous Jungle Risa Cruise and I'm your skipper. My name is Julia and hello everybody, good afternoon. Hello, nice to see you guys here today before our trip circuit. What's to all of you? We are the Sea Island Yule Service to make sure you are safe. That was certainly the most visually interesting one, but obviously I think the jokes were definitely lost. I don't think there was as many jokes. There was no like puns. It was just look here, do this, yeah. do that. It was, it was still fun. We did yeah. it. <laughs> now we're heading on out to go to the Disneyland Hotel. We're going to come back here later. We're going to have lunch at the hotel. We had to resort in getting me an umbrella too, but it is a very cute. Duffy and Friends one. It was really cute. <laughs> it was just too hard to both be under one umbrella. It's really chucking it. I a mini umbrella as well. Yeah. You can't do a big umbrella in somewhere like this. So, so why not wait to the buses to go to the Disneyland Hotel? I'm very excited about it. I'm glad to be getting out the rain. I'm glad to have pre ordered lunch and have it just, you know, sorted. I'm excited to see the Disneyland Hotel. So let's go and do it. We've arrived at the Hong Kong Disneyland Hotel. Oh my gosh, it smells incredible. Can you smell? Smells like perfume. Oh wow, it's fancy in here. Oh wow, it's beautiful. Oh, it's so grand. Look at that chandelier. Benji said this hairband was too much. I disagree. I think we've got all the classic gang all going on here. So this is the lobby. We've just been in this little gift shop on the left. And here is Crystal Lotus, which is where we're having lunch. It looks absolutely beautiful. I'm very excited about this. Oh my gosh, even the carpet is nice. We have been seated and there is an a la carte menu as well as what we've pre-ordered. So much. Honestly, I don't even know where to start. There's so much choice and I think Ben's just gonna really enjoy looking through this, see if we want to order anything in particular. And they have a drinks menu and for the first time I found some cocktails. We've got the Hong Kong Delight, which is a pineapple rum. It's like a slushy cheese bag. Cheers. Oh, they're plastic. <laughs> it's good. It's good? It's like very similar to a pina colada. Oh, it's smooth. Mm. Oh, it's really nice. Oh, it's not quite thick like a slushy. Oh, that's very drinkable, isn't it? Yeah, 100%. Okay, we've got our first bit of dim sum. And look at this. So this eel one is a red bean puree bun. So we got one of those to share. Tigger is a pork and vegetable bun. And they are just so 
beautiful. I mean, how can I even eat that? Mm -hmm. Like the detail, like the ears and the little eyes, it's so, so sweet. Can't wait to eat it and we'll let you know what it tastes like. Okay, I can confirm that Tigger is very nice. I'm now gonna try an eel. Mmm. Look at the inside. It's like a, yeah, puree thing. It's a puree, puree, isn't it? It's lovely. We also ordered the Wagyu fried rice, and this smells and looks absolutely mm. delicious. Look at that. Ugh, can't wait to eat that. So we're sharing the rice with the beef in this little tiny bowl. It is absolutely amazing. The flavors are so perfect, like beautifully balanced. And I just said Benj that I don't think I get it like this at home. Like, I don't think you could buy it like this at home. It just is, just feels very authentic, doesn't it? Mm. It's really nice and it's not too like watery but it's got like a nice consistency through it. It feels very homey. Like you weren't feeling very well. Mm. Imagine having this like yeah, warms through your belly when you've had a been out in the cold all day. Yeah. Mm. They go on that warms through your feet as well. <laughs> That was genuinely 10 out of 10, one of the best things we've eaten on this trip so far. We've had a lot of great food, but I'm putting that up there. So nice. We're both pretty full up, but our desserts have arrived, and we may have overdone it on how many desserts we ordered. We had no idea, did we really? No, we didn't really. We didn't want to not have enough. <laughs> it's fine. It's so cute, let me show you. So this is obviously Shelly Mae and Duffy, and look at their little mouths. So cute. I don't even know what's in these. They just said sweet steamed bun. So we'll see what they like. This is a coconut duffy pudding thing, yogurt thing. And we get little pink brushes and these are different flavored chocolates, no, did you say? chocolate sauce and then honey. Oh, honey. And what, you paint it? Yeah. I wow. And then the last one, custard buns, and these are Winnie the Pooh. And they are absolutely adorable. I mean, come on, just love them. So sweet, we wanted to try and have a few, so obviously we've got them all. <laughs> okay, quick recap on the sweet things. The Winnie the Pooh custard bun mm, really was good, nice. Really good, tasty. The Duffy was like a chocolate, which was okay. Okay, not, not our kind of, I think it was like a hazelnut chocolate, which I didn't love, but I it was fine. I liked it, it was nice. Shelly May quite possibly might be the worst thing I've ever tasted in my life. He didn't like it, so I'm I think sure it's, it's probably just. I like think it's matching a, a palette kind of thing. Like this is a flavour I've never had before, and I will he not didn't be like having it. it again. That's fine. And yeah. then you didn't love the texture of the. No, I didn't. No, I didn't mind the, the, the coconut. Bar. I was just so full at that point. Yeah. I was just like, I'm, I'll eat it for the sake of it. Yeah. Mm. It, it's quite likely we're probably not going to eat dinner. We'll probably, well, we probably won't eat dinner for start. We can probably get a little snack before we leave. Yeah. I think overall it was a nice experience. I think it was cute, but it did taste good. My favourite was the the rice. rice. Was amazing. That was amazing. I'd say One of the best things we had. With the rice and the cocktail chopping it up, probably a 7.6, 7.8. Yeah, I'm giving it a solid 8 out of 10. I don't love the layout of the restaurant. It feels very like we sat by a kitchen entrance here. We're quite far from the windows and it's not, I don't know, the flow of it. I I'm sat there when you, like if I was to sit here. It's very odd, yeah, we're really far away from each other. I do think that's some room for improvement, but I do like, like the detail, there's like a big lotus um, yeah, light feature, gorgeous. and the chairs have got little lotus glass bits in them, like here. So, you know, it's beautiful. It's, it's definitely an experience, a special experience. Yeah. I uh, wouldn't do it again, because it's one of those one done. <laughs> yeah, ticked it off now, haven't we? Actually, now it's a lie, to come back just for the rice. And to be fair, there's a couple of more mains on there that we would have had if we yeah. hadn't already ordered the dim sum. To be fair, I didn't even know you could order a main. I thought we'd just pick the no, dim sum I, and that I was it. I thought it was a set menu thing. I thought it was an almost. I, I knew it was nice and like a quick service place, but I thought it was like just pick it up and go kind of thing. <laughs> oh well, okay. We just wanted to see what the outside of the Disneyland Hotel looked like, and it's a little mini maze. And you've got the water and the little islands back there. It's so pretty. Can we show my new jumper? It's a, it's a jacket. Yeah. It's a light rain jacket. It's also women's, but I don't care. Just done some shimmying with the bags. Got Benji some fresh socks on and switched me into flip flops because my feet were just soaked. I'm using my Disneyland Paris bag. I've used this so much. Um, and in here are my trainers and lots of my shopping. <laughs> so off we go to continue filling this up. A women's jacket, women's socks. What time to be alive? <laughs> you're happy though, aren't you? Yeah. Good, as long as you're happy. Look how lovely this is, stunning. I thought you were sitting with me. Oh, you are stunning too, babe. Oh, yeah. 
we've just been dropped back off and we had the whole bus to ourselves. There's something I wanted to show you is that here in Hong Kong, when you're waiting for a bus, they have these little seats and you just pull it down and again, you don't have to be standing after a long part day. That's so something good. I'd love to see implemented in Florida. It's so easy as well, surely. It's just a design feature, yeah. but that like, means that everyone gets a seat in the queue. Can you see? Yeah. It's really good. We're at that point in the trip and the day where we've got, you know, only a few hours left. We want to maximize them. We're trying to think about what we want to see, what we want to do. I think it's an afternoon of shows, which makes a lot of sense to save us doing a lot of walking around the park. But we also want to repeat a couple of our favorites. But I think we're going to go straight in and head towards Mystic Manor. Mystic Manor. It stopped raining! Perfect Finally, timing. after you've just got a rain jacket. Yeah, so we're thinking big grizzly runaway train car Boys. boy thing. Um, that's what we're thinking. Rawr. Through the gift shop, always. Always, always. Always. Never Should we go through that way this time? I don't think there's much to go through though, is there? Is there not? You've got the bakery there. All right, let's go through this way then, the Emporium. We've just found Duffy and Friends Playhouse, which is where they meet. I just thought I'd show you it because it's so stinking cute. Look at the outside. So sweet. The it's, balloons as well. Yeah, it's so really cute. Seven of them. Yeah. Seven. I'm quite the gang. Seven. <laughs> I like walking. This is one of our little favourite Disney hacks. When Main Street's busy, find these little <laughs> cut-throughs down the side. All of the parks we've ever been to always have them. Much nicer to walk through. Love it. But we're on our way to Mystic Manor and Big Grizzly we're gonna Run. We're going to get some of that pop, pop It smells popcorn. insane. So what good. about if we get some before the Lion King show? It's 30 minutes. Although they might not let food in. We'll find out. I'm having no luck with mugs, guys. You know I love a mug. They didn't even have the Starbucks We Are Here mug. But I've been looking out for something cute. I just want like a Disney Hong Kong one, but they're all a little bit generic. Hey. Uh, on this ride? Yeah. We were yes. back to back, didn't we? You're right. Big Grizzly something or other, we still don't know the name. Big Grizzly Mountain, are they? No. Big Grizzly. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Mining. Oh, Big cars. Grizzly. No. <laughs> <laughs> A big grizzly runaway train mining car. It's definitely your car at the end, isn't it? Mining car. Sure, it's your car at the end. It's right next door. I think these two have been our favourite rides, haven't they? Yeah, I think so. This one's so good. It's absolutely nothing like Phantom Manor or Haunted Mansion or whatever. It's none, not, not even close. The concept, obviously, of being in a house, but the That's room doesn't even stretch anything. Yeah, like. Ooh. <laughs> Here we go. You should be sober and in good health. We had a cocktail at lunch. I haven't been in good health for like 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> Mystic Man is an exciting tour aboard the Mystic Magneto Electric Carriage through an unusual collection of exotic art and features brief periods of total Bye. darkness. Oh, and surprising moments. In we go. We've had the exact same car all three times we've been on this ride. What a treat. Down it goes. Oh God, Bench. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I've still got loads of room. <laughs> you are such a wines up. Now, you did see this ride in the last vlog, but I'm just going to show you a few cute bits. Okay, this first room is a banger. The magic and the, all the items that come to life. Yeah, the trinkets, they come to life. And all the things that move is so cool. Oh, so nice. <laughs> He is so cute. Yeah, we'd love a pin of him. I love this, the volcano bubbles. And it's so good. And then here, we noticed the second time round, 
the little man that he's in the top and he jumps back down. Let like, watch, up the top, back down. So good. Again, I didn't notice loads of detail in here. This is so cute. Oh. Okay, this room has got so much going on. Ah! <laughs> oh my goodness. Whoa, these are so good, the way they move. I nearly forgot this one. Even the thing at the top moves. And then these guys are shooting. Oh, poor little Albert. That's top two rides for here, isn't it? Yeah. For, for sure. sure. Oh, we said the same thing again. <laughs> we do that all the time. And um, we were saying, like, if they had an Albert the little monkey pin, instant buy. It'd be an instant buy, but they don't. Why the pin selection is so poor? They don't even have a castle or Hong Kong Disneyland or hotels. Like, like yeah, no, no hotel pin. Boo! We would have spent <laughs> very much money. Let us give us your money. Let us give you our money. There yeah. you go. We're now on our way, hopefully, to catch Moana, a homecoming celebration, I think it's called. Yeah. It's a show. You can meet Moana here too, which is really difficult to do in the American parks. I have done it at Mickey's, not, not so, so scary, scary, but it, it's very rare to meet her. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you and welcome to you all. Thank you. It would be so great and so much fun if you would all join me. And now, let's begin. Actually, my story began a thousand years ago. Oh, uh, we didn't finish that. I couldn't, I couldn't push past it. Didn't look anything like Moana. It's a white woman from California. Hopefully, the Lion King show will be a little bit better in a minute. We've heard good things about Lion King. Yes. You can't really go too wrong with that one, can you? <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Um, but we want to get some popcorn. Over there. I, I can smell it. it. <laughs> this is getting on <laughs> Is that normal popcorn, though? No, it smells like caramel. Neither of us are hungry, but we can't not try it. Popcorn, popcorn, get me the popcorn. Here's the popcorn. Look at the colour. It looks so tasty. Also, like, really chewy. It's probably going to get my teeth. That is good. Wow. That is amazing. Oh, my God. Right, we've arrived at Theatre in the Wild. This is where... Festival of the Lion King is, which we've obviously seen in Animal Kingdom and in Disneyland Paris, so I'm interested to see how it compares. I've been told it's very good. Even on initial first impressions, this area is stunning, much more themed and just really pretty, so I'm very excited to be going in. We're pretty early for this show, aren't we? Bit keen, aren't we? Bit keen, one of the first. We're about 45 minutes early. For this whole trip, the last two days, we've been cutting everything pretty fine and doing everything last minute, <laughs> trying to squeeze in as much as possible. Oh, 
What he needs is Hakuna Matata. What? What a wonderful phrase. Hey, help me out here. Woo! It means don't worry for the rest of your days. It's a from the free. There are lots of me. Hakuna Matata. such an amazing time here actually like you said Hong Kong Disneyland has really exceeded our expectations yeah. small but beautiful small but mighty <laughs> lovely food lovely cast members some great interactions some great shows Good shows yeah, yeah. Uh, I just would I'd love to come back I and really love it unique rides as well yeah Mis uh, Mystic Manor banger love it whatever the hell that grizzly bear run, run mine car, train car train thing <laughs> yeah Banger. love it so i hope you've enjoyed coming along with us we are now going to head back to the hotel pick up our luggage and go back to the cruise ship so and obviously unfortunately the weather was bad for all of our photos so we're going to have to come back at some point and redo our photos we are and let's know if you want to see us do shanghai and tokyo as well because yeah. we've got to haven't we to show you guys what it's like but if you haven't already make sure you hit subscribe don't miss our other vlogs from our cruise series and thank you for joining us on our magical Disney days. Um, it's been a blast hasn't it? Perfect. So we'll see you again in the next one. Love you, bye. Bye! <laughs>